Good evening. This is a MAN 9425 oil filter off a B6 Audi A4. It has 70 pleats in circumference. It is held together by a metal Um, this is a metal piece that holds the pleats together. I think it's like a crimp on type of deal. Here's what the bottom looks like. The bottom would have this guy on it, like this, and this part would be inside of the filter. 9425. Um, here's the outside ring, here's the inside. I just used a screwdriver to, and a hammer to whack along the circumference of it and get it out. Here is the anti-drain back. It feels like silicone. Very slippery. Seems pretty flexible. This filter has over eh, about 5,000. It has exactly 5,000 miles on it, pretty much. Running with Motul oil. This oil, a lot of it still looks good. Do you see, see that? That oil, I mean, I can just tell by looking at it and feeling at it that this oil was still good. Probably could have went as high as 10,000. Now, this isn't the large 940, or excuse me, 950 slash 4 filter. From man. This is the medium size 9425. However, I used it because I had it laying around and you know I didn't want to buy a filter if I could use one. So I drove for 5,000 miles on this with the Mo tool in there and this oil is really, really slick. Still good. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to go over this for you, give you an idea of what, what's what here, I guess. Um, Anti-drain back seems to seat pretty well. It's got lots of space to travel, and it's very flexible. Thick O-ring. I mean, it is what it is. It's an O-ring. Inside here, I don't know if you can tell, there's obviously oil in there. I did see some chocolatey, muddy looking stuff in there, but just a teensy weensy bit. really just oil. It's really not that bad in there. It's pretty clean for what I would have thought it would have been. Now, as far as the pleats go, or here's the, the spy, bypass valve. It takes a little push to get that thing to open. It's pretty, I think it's two bar. It's the same as all the others, all the others, so. Um, metal end caps, of course, here. When I get done with this oil change, I'm gonna um, line up these filters side by side and show you the difference between the 940-25, which is this one, the medium filter, and the 950 slash four, which is the big one I have on there now. And so I don't really see any big problems. This filter still looks good to me. Um, the pleats are very evenly spaced and they're pretty dang sturdy.
have to really mash on these things to break them apart. So, you know, if you're curious about what you have in your car and you know how well things are made, take it apart and look at it. That's my theory. If you can. Um, It looks good. It looks like a really good filter. I mean, I can't see a way to fault it. It's really, really tough, really sturdy. If I squeeze it with my fist like this, I can wreck it, but it takes a, a really hard squeeze, so it's a pretty durable filter. Yeah, this is actually 71 pleats, if you count the this thing, because apparently this isn't just a crimp to hold the pleats together in either end. It's also... A pleat, so that'd be 71 pleats. Okay, and here's what the filter looks like on the inside. Nice, sturdy metal on the inside. These end caps are attached to this portion. So, all in all, I have to give this filter a 10. This filter was ready to rock and roll way beyond 5,000 miles, I think. I don't see any signs of sludge. There isn't any large chunks of crud or crap in the filter media or, with, or within the housing here. You know, no large chunks. And that's the whole point of, like, investigating this. You know, you're looking for chunks. Chunks of crud. And uh, there really isn't any. It's pretty dang clean. There's some. I mean, it's it is what it is. And you could see a little bit of metal in there. A little bit of metal chunks. The reason I didn't want to use a hacksaw on it is because I didn't want to get metal flakes in there, and then have to explain that metal flakes is all oh, that's just there because uh, I was sawing on it. But there are some metal flakes in there. You can see them shimmering in there. And, uh, you know, I don't really know if I should have any cause for concern with that, but, you know, I guess in my opinion that's just kind of standard. I don't think you're really going to get away from that in an oil filter. It's bound to have some metallic looking chunks in there no matter what you do. I guess if you had a, a ton, then you might have something to really worry about. But anyone who wants to look at my filter has now seen it.